Would you like to try some walking with me? Walking, I hear you cry, I know how to walk. This isn't any normal type of walking, this is Tai Chi walking with some amazing benefits for strengthening our legs and our balance and movement in general. So Tai Chi walking, we're gonna go from beginners to advanced. We're gonna get playful with it later on. To begin with, Tai Chi walking is simply conscious grounded walking where we're really conscious with every step that we take. And so it's a moving meditation, first of all. And then secondly, the principle is really connecting with the ground as our feet land. So the heel and then the toes. And there's a, a very subtle rocking. So your little toes are the first to land out of the toes and then the big toe last. So heel, toe. Hopefully you're trying this with me. Heel, toe, <clears throat> and your awareness down on your feet. So a key principle is the alignment. So it's essential, and this is one of the reasons that I got injured when I was doing Tai Chi, is to not have your knee caving in like this. Your knee should be in line with your toes. And I didn't have a strong enough glute, uh, so I did lots of strengthening exercises, and if you're interested in that, I could do a video about that. But just making sure now when you're stepping that knee is in line with the toes as opposed to caving in. So that may, may mean you just slightly pushing your knee out, but just very gently, not overdoing that. All right, let's go to stage two, and this is making it more Kung Fu, maybe a bit more strength. So maybe you're fine here, but if you wanted to, you could go even lower and begin to work on the strength and balance. And you'll notice that my knees are going over my toes and old received wisdom is that you should never do this. But if you look at the Asian squat, you know, billions of people resting like this is our natural resting position. The knee is over the toe. So actually the knee going over the toe isn't a problem in itself. It's that alignment that we talked about. So making sure that the alignment is still good. And actually bringing your knees over your toes strengthens them can actually help you. So going as low as you want to. And now level three is going backwards. So try going backwards now, it's the same in reverse. So toes to heels, toes to heels. And now, Getting to our level four is playing with it. So going forward and backwards and just improvising now. All of your awareness still on your feet. It's mindful movement. Going forward and back. And now a surprise, leg lift. <laughs> Working on your balance even more. Nice. So can you going forward and backwards, bring a leg lift and then gently lower, heel, toes. Heel, toes, leg lift. And backwards. <laughs> Keeping up, beautiful. Making your practice your own. So this is an awesome practice you can do perhaps when you are putting a, the kettle on for a cup of tea and you just walk around your kitchen. And hopefully you feel this actually can do a lot of strengthening and is awesome for your balance. So there you go, my friend, a little introduction to Tai Chi walking. I hope it was valuable for you and there should be a playlist somewhere if you want to do more movement with me. There's also another great Tai Chi walking tutorial that I've linked in that playlist as well. Happy explorations.